M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So today I couldn't get the battery charging on my Yesu 817, so I started hunting around and thanks to the station that sent me a message saying, you need to cut the green wire. So thanks for that. And I found this page and I thought, okay, got some interesting modifications here. I'm not saying I recommend them, but it's an interesting link. Just if you're a 817 owner or you're interested in the Yesu 817, 818, I thought it was quite a good link lots of nice photographs with the covers removed as well and always like that just just for passing time and so I have got one of these covers here you can just take the housing off it's a lot easier to install if you take the housing off take it from me uh, otherwise you've got to squeeze it in there see this green wire mine would not allow the cradle to accept charging until I cut the green wire I literally just cut it and then I taped off the ends so that they don't short on the body and it worked and a, a description here of, of how it works why it works as well and then as you scroll down you've got so that's the battery they call it the battery mod then you've got the extended TX mod here uh, I'm not going to explain but yeah read it then you've got the hidden menu which is hold down the a b and c and you get the hidden menu where you can adjust all these different values now i'm you know my values aren't the same as what we're seeing here so it does make me worry that someone's been tinkering with my radio although it does work fine apart from the fact that on two meters the power is only three and a half watts i know that's not a big deal being that it's a five watt radio but it shows it here look vhf 144 rf power on high you can set it there it is there look 140 93 and 28 and 12 see so maybe i might tweak it a little bit maybe not i don't recommend it but anyway it's there so i might and you can tweak the gain I need to check it really. So I'm not saying I'm going to do that. It's interesting that they, someone has taken the time to add these values. Now it says here, 817 service points, ABC, turn on. We know about that. Synchron at start. Yeah, we know that. And then see these values that have been set. What do they get us? Do they get us anything more? It says proceed at your own risk. You know, it doesn't really say extended TX. No, that's the, that's that section. Uh, da, 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 da. Frequency, the manufacturer. I'm just looking for something obvious that says that the section with the ABC does changes anything, or are these are default values. And do they are, they are all the values different for every radio? You know, these are the things I'd like to know. So bye for now. Back to the nice photographs there. Eight one seven classic all timer it always will be and i wouldn't be surprised if they eventually just started started to make them again and brought out a new model 73 all the best bye for now i mean look at the kenwood d d75 bye